Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. I do tech news that won't make your head explode. Facebook is asking users for a clear photo of themselves whenever it suspects unauthorized logins or login attempts to prove it's you and not like some automated bot. It actually happened to me last Thursday. I tried to log in and then this happened. I uploaded a picture and it took a while. How long? Well, it wasn't immediate for me. I drove to work and checked and then I was good. It takes me 25 minutes to get to work. So there's that. Facebook says that they're asking for the photo to help us catch suspicious activity at various points of interaction on the site, including creating an account, sending friend requests, setting up ad payments, and creating or editing ads. And Facebook checks the photo, and then they delete it. Google has launched a new app to monitor data use. Detali will help users monitor and control the amount of data users use. The app shows real-time data usage for every application. It also sends notifications to users to activate their data saver function if it's not already on. Detali will also look for Wi-Fi hotspots you can connect to to save on data. This app is pretty cool for people that do not have an unlimited data plan. Google says users can use up to 30% less data. Now some of the features in the app have been available before, but now they're all in one app and it's for Android only. Apple is reportedly getting ready to release a 9.7 inch iPad for $259 next year. Right now you can get one for $329. But why $259? What you asking for? Just get the iPad 9.7 into $259 and move along. For real though, tablet sales are down. Big time. They're hoping to get businesses to use them more. A lot of schools that used to use Macs and iPads are now using Google Chromebooks because they're cheaper. My daughter bought a Chromebook and she loves it. Apple also released an update to their iOS 11. That's the operating system for iPhones and iPads. Now one of the updates is Apple Pay Cash. Apple Pay Cash will be available through your iMessages app. It lets iPhone users send money through iMessage, kind of like PayPal's Venmo. Cash is then deposited on an Apple Pay Cash card inside the wallet app. Now you can buy stuff with Apple Pay using that money or transfer it to your bank account. Other updates too are included in the latest update and I'll link you to them down below. Hey, that's all I got. Give me a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe if you learned something. Level up your support by becoming a patron of mine on Patreon.com for just 99 cents a month. A link for that is down below. Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. It's tech news that's not too techy. I'm Tony Scott.